My name's Bob Carr. I'm the Foreign Minister of Australia. I'm here in Kiribati with the president of this small island country, President Tong. And what I'm looking at here is the living reality of climate change. This is a village. The tide rises and floods it. This did not happen in the past. And it sends a message about what might happen to this nation of 100,000 people over six islands should the temperature continue to warm and the sea levels continue to rise. The implications for the loss of arable land, for the cost of proofing the, the territory against further ocean incursion is very real. The cost of doing something about, about erosion is very real. The loss of livelihood for fishing folk as a result of ocean acidification is also very real. Here in Kiribati, as Secretary General Ban Ki-moon found out on a recent visit, climate change is the way people live now. And what worries the President and worries his people is what would happen to the, the fresh water supply of this country if the ocean continues to rise. By some estimates, there's a view that there may only be two decades left. For this people that has occupied this land for perhaps 2,000 years, they call it their home. This is where they fish, this is where they sustain their livelihood. When I met a group of them earlier, the young people burst into song spontaneously. They have a lively culture, a wonderful culture that has been part of this island group for as long as we know. It could be lost. They could be forced to migrate, to pick up all their possessions from their, their traditional home and go somewhere else in the world. A hundred thousand people of Kiribati. There is a huge message here for the rest of us. A message about migration forced by climate change and rising ocean levels. A message about implica with implications for peace and security. Australia asks the leadership of the world at the UN Security Council to think about these messages, bearing in mind what the people of Kiribati are living with today. Well, Minister, if I might add to what uh, Minister Pa has just said, I think this is the message we have been trying to communicate with the rest of the international community. Um, and I think the, uh, the, the fundamental message here is that we, Climate change is not an issue to be addressed into the future. But for the people of this country, we have a community leader here, and he has to contend with the, the high tides every second week. And I think the message that I've, I've always been trying to communicate is we're not negotiating an issue that, of an event that might happen in the future. We are dealing with the daily challenges that we have to face. We are, according to the projections, as a nation, our very future and our very survival, particularly the, with the young generation, is very much at stake. Uh, you, you, United Nations Secretary General, Dr. Moon, came here and he spoke to the community here. And they, there was a young, young lady who asked the question, Mr. Secretary General, what can we do that would ensure our people's survival? And I think this is the question that we're asking the international community. And <laughs> I, I thank uh, uh, Minister Carr for taking this to the UN Security Council because it's a security issue for those countries which are the most vulnerable on the continent. And please, give it a thought. We've been talking so much. I think we need a bit of action. And here we are, mm -hmm. witnessing what's been happening, what will continue to get worse. Thank you. Do you want me to say anything to you? Oh, thank yep. you.